Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a quick tips and tricks video for people that either have problems with Cortana or um, want to turn off Cortana or change the settings of Cortana. Um, I, I, I get um, regular you know, updates of people saying, hey, I can't find the settings in Cortana. Uh, when I go to the Windows settings, where are the settings for Cortana? Very simple. Don't, you know, in Windows 10, every time you search for something, remember your first um, the first thing you should do is search for it because this search is so powerful in Windows 10 so in creators update all you have to do is either type Cortana in the search box for Cortana you'll see Cortana and search settings that you can check or if you're in the settings panel simply once again type Cortana here and you will have Cortana and search settings you just click on it and it appears right here in the Cortana box so remember, you've got all your settings here. You can set Cortana to respond to your um, voice by Hey Cortana, which will wake up Cortana to, of course, answer any questions. Um, if you want this to work all the time, you have a check mark. Keep the device from sleeping, because when it's sleeping, it will not work. Uh, respond when anyone says Hey Cortana, or when here it responds, of course. So. <laughs> Let's just uh, go back to the settings. Okay, Cortana. So, of course, you can uh, uh, put that off if it's a problem for you. But you can also um, put the check the little dot here and try to respond only to me. And that will actually ask you to say uh, that command regularly, meaning that it will actually learn what your voice sounds like and try not to trip every time somebody else says this, that command, for example. Uh, use Cortana when my device is locked, which means it's uh, going to appear and be available on the lock screen. Let Cortana access my calendar email messages. This could be if you think that's a privacy issue. You can turn it off. By default, it is off. Uh, if you turn it on, well, it lets Cortana actually interact with your email, your calendar. And what it does is basically uh, in, the, in the lock screen, it will enable you to, for example, know that you have an appointment or that there's something wrong or, you know, there's a lot of things here that um, can happen. And this is on the lock screen once again. Cortana tidbits. Uh, this is, um, you know, sometimes uh, Cortana will pop up and say, hey, it's, you know, time to, it's noon. Maybe you're you know, hungry, uh, want to have pizza or, you know, all sorts of little things like that. You can turn that on or off if you want. I, I keep them on, you know, because I, I, I look at what, she has to offer keyboard shortcut you can of course use the keyboard shortcut if you want by turning this on it means that the windows logo and the letter c will actually activate cortana and she'll be listening send notifications and information between devices this is if you have more than one windows 10 device what's cool with this is that cortana can interact and give you information on the other device about what you were doing on the other one so for example if I am posting a video on YouTube, it will actually tell me on another device, oh, by the way, uh, last time you were on Windows 10, you were actually on that device um, doing something on YouTube. You want to go to YouTube now? Uh, so it's really cool for that. And you can edit the sync settings, by the way. And we'll be looking at that in a separate video. We'll look a little, a little more in details here. We're going fast through the different things. Uh, you have an easy way to change the language of Cortana, choose a language that you prefer. Remember, Cortana is available in only select languages and select markets, so it might not be available in your area. Uh, you can improve on device searches uh, using app settings and other history from the signed-in devices, so you can clear my device history if you want so that it doesn't share with everybody or every other Windows 10 machine on your own computer. Uh, search history, you can um, improve on device searches using search history from signed in devices once again more than one windows 10 computer all of that will work together and finally you have safe search strict moderate or off depending on what type of content you want to have when you are actually searching using cortana so these are the settings and that's where they are simply type cortana in the search box at the top of the windows settings type cortana in the um Cortana search box in the bottom left, and that's pretty much it. Uh, you'll be uh, greeted with the Cortana settings. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, 
Thank you for watching.